Um, so, this next song is about, well, it's kind of inspired by how I'm from the internets. And on like the YouTubes, um, in my experience, the highest compliment that you can pay somebody is telling them that you want to have their babies. <laughs> and, and I mean, I occasionally get that from men, oddly enough. Um, and I, I interpret it as like, not literally I will, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger it and bear your child, but more the sentiment of, I appreciate your talent so much that I would endure intense pain in my genitals for hours. <laughs> and that's a compliment, right? <laughs> I hope so. Um, and so this song is not really about that. Um, it's about actually wanting to have somebody's baby in kind of a reverse Darwin Awards kind of thing. Specifically Stephen Fry. I don't know if you were aware, uh, but he's gay. Um, and so he can't accidentally produce children uh, the way that heterosexual men can. Um, and I think that's a shame, because I want there to be little fractions of Stephen Fry in the gene pool in the future. And so this song is called An Open Letter to Stephen Fry, and it's basically a job application. <laughs> Your heart is promised to a man, and so I have no hope to win it. But consider my proposal, sir, if you can find a minute. I think the future of our species would be better with you in it. I know you have your problems, and maybe I have mine. But you should leave someone to carry on when you have turned to dust and plant your genome in an infant, sir. I think it's only just, and you would need someone to bear this child, a woman you can trust. I'll put my body on the line Mr. Stephen Fry I see no reason why You wouldn't think it worthwhile To let me bear your child You would be amazed What science does these days So think it over And send along your seed position, which I hope you will not doubt. I've got those childbearing hips you always hear so much about. I have permission from my boyfriend, and he'd maybe help you out. I know it isn't much, but it's what I have to give. And I don't drink, and I don't smoke, and I eat all my leafy grains. I'll try to go to bed much earlier, get all my vaccines, and I'll put headphones on my belly. And I'll cut back on caffeine, I'll hang an iPad in the crib. Mr. Stephen Fry, I see no reason why you wouldn't want someday, maybe, to let me have your baby. And I'm in my prime, so you've got loads of time, so when you're ready, send along your seed. email from the humanist chaplain at Harvard. There is such a thing, I guess, as a humanist chaplain. Um, and he said, hey, um, I heard your Stephen Fry song. Oh, we're honoring him at Harvard next week. Would you like to come and sing the song to him? And I went, yes! And, and I 
tap the hive mind and we got a plane ticket to Boston and I got to sing it to his face. And he turned purple and it was adorable. <laughs> and he, he said no. Thank you for asking. Um, and, but he did say later in some Australian journalist badgered him with the video again and was like, have you heard of this Molly Lewis person? Eh? Funny. And he said, if I were to have someone who would genuinely wish to bear my jeans on through her uterus, she would be a good choice because she's small and neat and pretty and she has musical talent, which I don't. So if it did work, it could be a marvelous child. 